What screams I'm poor but pretend I'm rich? Isn't this just basic American culture? Buying things you don't need, with money you don't have, to impress people you don't like. Promoting your MLM on LinkedIn. Instagram. $2000 rims on a $800 car. Going to Las Vegas. Hardwood, freshly redone kitchen and bath, new car, all of it financed and less than 10% of the value of those things in savings. Slingshot car rental. More than one fork. A BMW 3 Series. Maserati Ghibli. Olive Garden. 90% of all content on Instagram. Me, nice new iPhone, how much storage? Them, 1TB iPhone 12 Pro. Me, nice, what backup storage you using? iCloud, Dropbox, Google Drive? Them, I don't need to pay for backup storage, that's an expensive scam. Yay, backing up hundreds if not thousands of pictures and videos for a few dollars a month is too expensive, even though your dumbass is only using 30 GB on your phone. Buying more storage or even a new phone every year isn't a sign of status if you lose everything on it. Rims, fancy rims on rusty POS cars. Using the term bougie. Honda Civics. The entire VIP car scene, 10 plus year old luxury cars stanced on oversized rims. If they're actually poor there's no possible way for them to scream to begin with. They would go unheard on the streets slash bad living standards without a voice. Really the answer to this would just be that they're poor and that's reality. The Gucci belt. Any type of flexing on social media. Real ballers keep it undercover. Modded sports cars or high-end cars. Drive through the worst trailer parks and you'll see cars worth six digits. Easy to see, you hear them talk. When politic, sex is the first subject they come up with, they are poor. If they speak less than three languages equals same also if they are trying to act like a bourgeois or look like a public figure. People who flaunt labels money talks, wealth whispers. Putting down CEO or owner at entrepreneur on your dating app profile. Fuck off, you're either unemployed or you own some struggling business with a heap of debt. Keeping price tags on clothes and hats. My acquaintance wears a gold bracelet all the time, but it's a fake. 20 inch blades, on the Impala. Fancy mods on a Kia. Maserati. One of my ex-boyfriends, I use that term loosely, in high school often tried to convince people he was richer than he was by telling constant lies about his, non-existent, job, his, non-existent, car, etc. In reality he had no car, no job, and lived in a low-income apartment complex. One day, after the last bell had rung and I was heading home, he stopped me and said he had a gift for me that he claimed he paid $100 for online. At first I was all low, oh, how sweet, he spent that much on a gift. But then I saw the gift. It was a barely functional knockoff iPod. Touched it once, never touched it again, didn't have the heart to confront him about it. Little wonder he broke up with me a week after that and went off gallivanting with my best friend, where their relationship became more intimate. A luxury car with damage. Driving around in my cheap Merc. Gotta keep the class warfare alive. Loud, lifted trucks with mud tires. I once had a teacher that wore a Porsche jacket, had a Porsche keychain, and had runners with some Porsche logos. She did not drive a Porsche. And that was pretty clear. Fake brand name purses. Air Jordans. Owning a Harley Davidson. Let's flip the question now, what screams I'm rich AF but pretend I'm poor? Living in a normal place but having an expensive car you borrowed money for. Driving mommy and daddy's car. Gucci belt W the loafers but you in a 93 Civic. LV bags. Either dare flea market fakes or real and they have terrible spending habits. BMW. The Cheesecake Factory. Gucci. A Gucci belt that is $600 plus. Nothing is worse than a Gucci belt paired with Forever 21, rolling eyes face. Gucci. 
Anacura. Faking a selfie by using someone's car in a random parking lot. Credit card debt. Designer clothes and face tattoos. An academic job. Saying they never buy things on sale or use coupons. Buys everything retail and they keep it in the closet of a shitty duplex. Average wealthy people got that way because they are good with money. They buy food and necessities on sale and use coupons. They don't waste money on things that are not needed like clothes from the mall. Individuals flashing their high-end purses like Gucci or LV shopping at Ross and other discount stores. Rainbow hair. My wireless skull candy earbuds. Taking selfies with fanned cash from your drug deals while you ride a bicycle around all night. A two-seated ATV. Bitcoins. Designer brands with huge logo or the logo plastered all over it. There's a reason they're the cheapest. Chrysler 300. Floral window film. An excessively loud Honda Civic. Being Enron. Newer car but living in an apartment. My Jordans that have no shoelaces cause the dogs ate them. The entire city of Miami. A3 series. My partner. Being a stripper, woman shrugging. Self-made in the Facebook bio. Social media posts with your Starbucks purchase. Hashtag blessed. Drawing attention to yourself buying things you can't afford. People with actual money don't like attention. I buy Apple products no offense lol. So many things, name dropping is the cheapest, bragging about your imaginary life is definitely up there. I do love pretentious work titles to make up for poverty wages. I always cringe when I see people with Louis Vuitton carry-on luggage, or other luxury brands, but are flying with me in economy lol. Buying or renting at the absolute maximum edge of affordability. Any Apple product. Wearing leopard print and or shiny things. Snapchat model. Flexing designer clothes while you live in the projects. Buying an empty bottle of King Louis XIII cognac and filling it with something similar in color. I used to work at Nordstrom for a bit. The people who would come in just to buy Burberry and make a big show about it, and talk how it's their favorite, what they don't know is that all their purchases can be tracked when a return is made, and if you had a number or email tied to the purchase, then everyone can see your return history and see what kind of clown you will allow. Oh and anyone who wears a designer belt with a t-shirt tucked into the front of their pants. Riding down an escalator to claim a presidential run so the network agrees to give you more money for the next season of your television show. Man, all the comments just makes me sad. A Hummer. Chrysler 300 W rims. You own a Tesla but live in a rented apartment. Posting online sightings on a vacation their friend took them on. Cocaine. Hard Rock Nick. Spinners. Ford Mustangs. 3 Series BMW or C-Class Mercedes that are obviously leased. Poorly maintained luxury car. Expensive cars are expensive to maintain. People buy a car without planning on service costs all the time, especially people who aren't very good with money. The debt of some places. Deleted. iPhones, luxury cars, expensive shoes. The newest iPhone, while Instagramming inside their single wide trailer with the sagging front porch and babies with sagging diapers in the background. Sneakers. Honestly, an excessive Dana to normal ratio sets alarm bells off for me. Like, if somebody is a walking billboard for Gucci, I assume they either came into an unexpected windfall, or bought it on credit. If you truly had the money to afford quality, you'd buy what you like and not just what happens to impresses other people. At least, that's the case here in Canada. I hear it's different elsewhere, where the flashier you are the more esteemed, and not tacky, you appear. Anything that's hood rich, like a Mercedes parked in front of an apartment. Leasing an expensive car and street parking it in a bad area. Jordans. In the picture, my big house is behind my Buick. Lolololol. An Instagram account. I was at a luxury mall the other day. 
lines to get into Gucci, LV, Burberry, you name it. Walked into Saks, everyone wearing 1k worth of clothes. Zero of those people looked like they could afford it normally. Stimmy hitting hard. Probably $72.46 in savings.